That's your boy Jay Ross. My, yeah. Uh, Phil Jones. Boy, he done went into the base building business. He got no, the no, no. <laughs> He got the Phil Jones Chesterfield base that he made. <laughs> What's going on here? Hang on a minute. I gotta turn this yeah, around here. Oh, hang on. There it goes. Is it that way? Uh, nope. Almost. Maybe the other way. Hang on. Yeah, you just about got like one, one more turn to go. There right. you go. My phone's going crazy in here. Hang on. Shut up. Yeah. All them strippers waiting for you to get to the club, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what, what I got on this face is it's a passive face with uh, EMG pickups and uh, you notice it got two extra switches here so it's like a jazz bass um, uh, controls here volume volume tone uh, and this switch here switches these pickups from uh, series to parallel and when they're in parallel you get more top end uh -huh. and then this pickup here has got a coil tap so it goes from the humbucking to single coil and then there's just your tone here okay so uh, hang on let me give you an idea how this sounds let me give me a chair i feel how you're here all day let me see Hanging out down at the Mad Scientist Studios with Phil Jones and my boy Scott. My cousin Tanya, around the corner somewhere. She don't want to be on camera, yeah. So when you go to, um, you feel like here. Hang on. That's, that's in the uh, uh, series here, and that's in parallel. Get more, more high frequency out of it when it's in parallel. Phil, you trying to sound like your boy uh, Pino, huh? No, no. Like <laughs> Phil and Pino uh, blaze together over in Cardiff, Wales, y'all. They come up together. So, yeah, this space is uh, it's all handmade, like uh, made the body and the neck, and uh, it was done actually made in the factory. There you go, there. Let me but get that uh, headstock. Headstock there. <laughs> it's got like uh, the old style reverse tuners on it. Uh -huh. and, uh, these are GHS uh, flat wounds on here. And uh, I just put this circuit, uh, I kind of rewired it up so it kind of had a bit more uh, with, with, you know, variety of tone, really. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Here, let me see. Let me get the name on that head. Yeah, Phil Jones, <laughs> Chesterfield Bass. Phil got his own bass line, <laughs> y'all. Fender, better look out. Nah, I never got the bass. Just any of you guys out there, I, 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 I'm not good enough. It takes me too long. And, and uh, it's really difficult building bases. I never want to do another one, to be honest. <laughs> I just wanted to try it out, see, just to find out how hard it is to build a base. Yeah. And I can tell you this, it's really hard making bases. <laughs> I don't ever <laughs> want to do that. Not my thing. All right, Joe. That's Phil Jones. We're still hanging out yeah. at the Mad Scientist yeah. Studio. Raining like a mug in St. Louis. And that's, that's the, the, the Quantum 400 down there. Right here. You know, which is the tiniest stamp we make. The Quantum 400 by Phil Jones. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's going to be it, man. Okay. That's the uh, briefcase ultimate, and that's the standard briefcase here. This has got a little bit more power. Uh, it sounds a little better to me. Uh -huh. uh, it's not really loud, much louder, but it's just got a, a more organic, warmer sound. Than yeah. The, the, even though the briefcase is really good, but this is the, the ultimate. The ultimate, that's I got you. Yeah. Man. Too, for sure. The handle on it's real neat. Man. There you go. We just down here balling, y'all. Boy, you can hear the rain outside. My God. Yeah, I mean, we got like about, I don't know, 10 inches of rain today or something. Man. <laughs> it's storming out there. Yeah. Mad Scientist Studios, y'all. Every you come to St. Louis, yeah. be sure to holler yeah, at them. Just scroll down my bases like this, James. This is just like half of them here. Oh, Start from the top end here. Um, I got a whole set in China as well, but like there's, there's all these bases here. Yeah. Down here. Phil working me like I got work for him or something. Hey, Brian, where you at? Brian Thomas, yeah, 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 you, you know. need to come to work, man. <laughs> you see, I got a slight fender addiction too. I see that. <laughs> it's like they all got a fender vibe to them too. Yeah. yeah. Like to me, it's like grew up on fender. Brian Thomas, man, you better come to work, dude. Phil down here doing your job for you. Probably the coolest fender style bass I've ever played, though. Yeah. yeah, the exotic. Uh, uh, the he played a bass mod yet? 
Now I know. No, no, it's a six string. He's a four string player. Oh, you got a six string bass model? Yeah, it's a six string bass. It's a great bass, by the way. It's